Hey guys, it's Crazy Comic Lady here, and this was actually an A4 commission that I did um, for somebody. And I can't, I'm not even going to try and pronounce the name of this character or the show because I'll just butcher the name. So I'm not good at pronouncing Japanese names at all. But yeah, this was actually uh, the person who commissioned me. They'd seen that I'd done this character before on my channel back in 2012. It was actually one of the a uh, really early request that someone had made back when I accepted requests on my channel. Um, that was a very long time ago. But yeah, the, this person who commissioned me, they, they'd seen the video and they, they sent me a, an email asking me to do like a, a picture for their, for their girlfriend of, of this character. So, so yeah, it was, uh, I haven't done an A4 picture in a very long time and I forgot just like how long they take to do. but. Yeah, I think it turned out all right. I'm not very like I haven't had much practice at drawing men, so I'm hope I hope it came out okay. Um originally when I sketched it out, I had his mouth kind of open as you can see, and I tried to do like his the bottom like the bottom teeth just showing like at the sides. And eventually I kind of when I started coloring it, it looked weird, like it didn't look right having like the bottom teeth like showing. Um, so then I went, I went over it with like a uh, ink to try and just hide it and just make it part of the tongue <laughs> instead of having those teeth at the side showing. Um, but yeah, I kind of, I do like the way the skin turned out, even though I think I used, um, like more darker green, greens, <laughs> why on earth did I say greens? Darker browns for, for like the skin tones. I used a uh, E11 and did I use E13 as well? I can't remember now, but yeah, and for some reason those colours don't blend together quite as well as like the regular skin tones that I use. So it's the skin is slightly more streaky than the rest of the picture, but it's still I still think it, it came out alright. Um but yeah, it was it was really interesting doing this character again after after such a long time because I remember in the original picture that I did on in 2012. I'll, I'll put a link in the video description if you want to go and see that video. Um, but man, that video was a really bad quality video that I did in 2012. I was not very uh, adept at making YouTube videos back then, so it's the lighting is terrible and there wasn't even a finished picture at the end of the video. I just held my camera over the over the final image. <laughs> it was oh, my early videos are very humorous at how bad they are. But it was really interesting uh, doing this character again because when I did it in 2012, I remember it being like the jacket coat thing he wears. I remember that being such a struggle in that original, that original picture because there's so many like blue cross lines and checks and everything on it. So I know in that original original picture, I used a ruler to try to mark out like where all the the blue lines of the coat should go. Oh, and you just saw me, I just uh, coloured over the, the teeth so that they were hidden. <laughs> um, but yeah, the when I did this picture and I was doing that blue jacket, I didn't use line art to mark out where like all the patterns would go on the jacket. I kind of just um, eyeballed it of where it should go. So I think on this one, you can see that my blue pattern on the, on the coat thing is a lot more kind of fluid and it kind of goes with like the the direction of how it's kind of like laying across him whereas that original picture I did in 2012 was very uh I don't know what the word is like rigid and unflexible and that original picture in 2012 was just a, a copy as well of a screenshot from the anime it wasn't like a it wasn't done in like my own style because back in 2012 I didn't do a whole lot in my own style I was just uh copying an awful lot of pictures which it does help you when you when you're trying to learn like body proportions and everything. Copying does help, but I made a terrible habit of just doing that. And I think that was because I was doing so many requests in that year as well. It was just easier to just copy a picture than it was to to put my own style into it. Whereas now I put my own style into everything and I feel it's more more new unique. Um so yeah, I have tried to watch this show. I did I watched the first couple of episodes, but it was a shame it wasn't in English because I was trying to work on the sketch of this picture while listening to the show, uh, while it was in Japanese, so I was kind of only half getting the storyline, but I think I picked up enough of it to know roughly what was going on with the little egg creatures that were hatching and, and everything, so 
yeah um it's quite a long series i i don't think i'll watch the whole of it unless there's an english version of it somewhere but yeah so here i am doing the the coat that i was talking about um where i just went in with the marker to to go with the lines and everything which i think did come out it came out right it came out better than i think the original picture that i did in 2012 so yeah and yeah i kind of like the way my eyes came out as well in the picture because i i never know what kind of style to do like male eyes in because female eyes it's really easy because you can just do like lots of like eyelashes which make it like big and beautiful whereas guys if you put eyelashes on guys it then kind of stops doesn't really work too too well doing that so um yeah i've kind of been adopting this kind of almost asiany style for my eyes at the moment and yeah i went in with uh some like darker i think it was a b95 to try and darken up bits of the jacket to make it look a bit like shadow but without it um compromising the pattern too much and then i added in a few bits with my white gel pen in the hair which then didn't kind of work too well it works better in light hair when you when you add in bits of white into the hair i think so i went over like a bit of it with the brown to hide the white highlights a bit um and then i added in my chalk pastel background and yeah i think i had to add in a couple of extra layers because i hadn't put down enough chalk pastel to get a good solid color going so i had to put a bit more a bit more in and yeah so that's pretty much it that was my picture of this guy whose name i cannot pronounce is it kukai that is very wrong i know <laughs> um but yeah it was it was fun doing this picture and um i really hope the person who commissioned it liked it so yeah um thanks for watching i really hope you enjoyed this this video and yeah here's a here's a picture of what it looked like with um the 2012 picture and the one i did for this commission so you can see kind of if i've improved so yeah thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you all soon bye